Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Don't get away from me. Yo there, your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, you should stay out of tall grass. Well, it's not like I got a choice here, so I have to go through the grass. Okay, that's another slack off. Level 6 this time. I think I'll let my overdrive take care of this one. Huh, <laughs> yawn. Uh, make me drowsy and next turn I'll fall asleep. Yeah, I'll avoid that, thank you. Yeah, instead of overdrive, I think I should switch out to Jaws. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular! Um, those people giving you wedgies are not your friend, okay? Okay, James? Ah, uh, Ninkata. Strictly a bug type. But I can easily take it out. Look at that one hit. Ah, uh, another Ninkata. Eh, it'll take the same fate. It's probably just a different gender. Well, that's sexist. Oh, but my rough skin made you kill yourself. How do you like me now? I can't be popular if I lose. Hmm, nope. You're pretty much doomed to being a virgin forever. If you have a big bug Pokemon, people respect you for it. Yep, well, you don't have a big po bug Pokemon now, do ya? Just two Ninkatas. In addition to hit points, HP, Pokemon have power points, PP, that are used to make moves during battle. If a Pokemon runs out of PP, it must be taken to a Pokemon Center. Or you can always get some TP for their bunghole, you know, that kind of thing. That's ah, another slack off. Funny, I, th I thought they were quite rare in the, in the woods. And I run into several already. Okay, I should be able to finish this guy off on this turn, that way I won't fall asleep. Okay, basically those are some trees that I can cut, but I don't have the HM1 yet. I will soon enough. I like filling my mouth with seeds, then spitting them out fast. You can have this, so you try it out. Use it on a Pokemon and it'll learn a move for firing seeds rapidly. Ah, uh, TM09 is a grass move. A word of advice, a TM technical machine is good only for one-time use. Once you use it, it's gone. Think twice before using it. Okay, let me take a look at that TM. Ooh, bullet seed. That's yeah, a grass move, but do I want to learn it? Um, you know what, why don't you learn it? Remember, since this is the team that I'm mostly using, why not use some good TMs? Here, I get some berries. That should be pretty good. Pretty Petal Flower Shop. This ain't pretty! You should sue for false advertising. Hello! This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers all over the world! And you are probably spreading some chlamydia. Now get out of my face. Your name is... Bonga, that's a nice name. Bonga, would you like to learn about berries? Oh, I suppose. Berries grow on trees that thrive in only in soft, loamy soil. If you take some berries, be sure to plant one in the loamy soil again. A planted berry will soon sprout, grow into a plant, flower beautifully, then grow berries again. I want to see the whole world filled with beautiful flowers. That's my dream. Please help me, Banga. Plant berries and bring more flowers into the world. Eh, I suppose I gotta talk to you again later. Hello! The more attention to give to flowers, the more beautifully they bloom. You like tending flowers, I'm sure of it. You can have this. Ah, the Wilmer Pail. While berry plants are growing, water them with the Wilmer Pail. Oh, another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop off onto the ground. They'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they have the will to live. Good. You should all have the will to live. 
I'm trying to be like my big sisters. I'm growing flowers too. Here you go. It's for you. Yeah, that free chesto berry. Thanks, bitch. You can plant a berry and grow it big, or you can make a Pokemon hold it. But now they have a machine that mixes up different berries and makes candies for Pokemon. I want some candy too. Well, go get some. I mean, you're right next to a town. Huh. Ah, I thought there'd be something over there, but maybe there is. Either way, I gotta take on a Puchaina. Ah, let's try Bite. Not very effective, but still very damaging. Ooh, critical. Ah, one more Bite. There. Level 9. Oh, found a Pokeball. There's a lot of empty patches here. Which makes you think there's something waiting for me. Ah, let me switch out. I'll go with KFC for now. Ah, Super Potion. Alright. Nothing here. And Turn 180 degrees and now we gotta fight. Meryl. Okay, I'm gonna catch you this time. First time I failed as a result of doing a lot of damage. This time it's gonna be different. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna catch you now. Just because. What? Hmm, defense curl. Yes, he can outlast another scratch, or she can outlast another scratch. There. Now you're in the red. Okay, let's do it bright this time. Come on, Meryl. You are mine. Yep. Got it. Its body is covered with water repellent fur. Because of the fur, it can swim through water at high speed without being slowed by the water's resistance. Cool, yet I don't care. It's not going to affect my life in any way. So what's the point? Oh sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Oh, you're going to have to fork some of that over when I win. Look at you, Winston. Is your last name Churchill? Would you like a crumpet up your bum hole? I was, cause I'm Winston Churchill! <sighs> Moving on. This is gonna be an easy fight. Sweet. Why couldn't I win? Because you suck, that's why. There are some things money can't buy. That's Pokemon. In the Hoenn region, there are pairs of trainers who challenge others for two-on-two -two battles called double battles. In a double battle, the trainer must send out two Pokémon. The one at the left of the list and the top one. Watch how Pokémon are lined up. Wow, you have really good vision. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure. I will battle. I thought you were talking about losing your virginity. Well, oh wait, you probably already did that. Let me just look at you, Haley. Ah, uh, low tad. Hmm, I better switch out. This does not look a good Pokemon to use. Uh, let's go with Mirage. Oh, Astonish. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I forgot about that ghost move. Yep, I'm switching out now. That's what I should have done much sooner. Go with Majin Buu. That's not gonna do much. I mean, it still connects, even though it's a ghost move. Well, yeah, technically it would connect, it just wouldn't be super effective. And Astonish doesn't do a lot of damage to begin with. Shroomish? 
Okay, KFC, you can come back in. This one you can definitely finish. And get to level 11 as well. There we go. Level 11. I shouldn't have battled. Oh, we didn't have a choice, our eyes locked. If you're faced with a decision and you let someone else choose for you, you will regret it. However things turn out. Oh, that is true. Well, this is gonna be a double battle for sure. Um, I think this is a good lineup, like KFC and Jaws. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together! Okay, so this is gonna be our first double battle in this LP. Gina and Mia. C dot and low ten, that's what they're gonna go with. Okay, fair enough. I think I'll use Ember on C dot, and you use Bite on well, low tad. There, now it's gonna be two on one. The good thing is we both get experience points. Okay, we're done. That was easy. We battled together, but we both lost. Well, that's what happens. You either win together or you lose together. We will train our Pokemon more and be strong like you. You do that. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? No, I don't. You're not really much of an expert then. Ivan. You got a magic carp and it's level 5. You're an expert of nothing except fail. Like, really now? You think you're gonna beat me with a magic carp? Not only that, a level 5 magic carp. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go with Toadstool for this. I definitely need to pump up the levels. It's only at level 7, and since Roxanne is a rock-type gym leader, I definitely need all the help I can get. So let's try to build you up. I think tackle should be good. There. Another magic harp. This is the last one. Hmm, level seven, so it's a little bit better. Still the same weakling. Let me try a bullet seed. Oh, I only got to hit two times. I was hoping for at least a third. That would have finished it off. I think this absorb will. There we go. Nothing to it, really. Ivan is down. I thought it wasn't too bad, if I'd say so, but I guess not. Meh. I got too into fishing. I forgot I had to raise my Pokemon. That's your own fault. If you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them. But make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. Okay. The way you look, you must be a trainer, no? Trainers often make Pokemon hold berries. It's up to you whether to grow berries or use them. Eh, I'm more of a user of berries. I mean, you can water them if you want. But technically, I don't really use much berries at all. So, to me, they're not that important. Some people play it different ways. That's entirely your call. Ah, we made it to Rustboro. Thank God. This place is a little bit big. Devon Corporation's workers live in this building. And apparently that woman there has a skitty. It's a cute little cat, I'm not gonna lie. 
daddy's working at the corporation. My daddy made this, but I can't use it, so you can have it. Ah, Premier Ball, thanks. Way back in the old days, Devon was just a teeny tiny company. But hey, just like Walmart, it grew. Who knew? Okay, this is the top floor. Devon's president likes to collect rare stones. How do we now? Picture books. I think the president's son also collects rare stones. This is my numbing information. Why do I have a feeling I'll be putting that to use later on in the game? Okay, enough robotic voice, let's continue. Might as well check out the rest of the town before I take on the gym. If a Pokemon gains experience in battles, it can sometimes change in the way it looks. Pokemon changes shape? If one did that, I would be shocked. Oh, you cute little midgets. Oh, you have Pokemon with you too? When I get bigger, I'm gonna go play some Pokemon as well. Just don't go too far, you probably will fail. For my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of originality, yes, that's it. But giving the name Pikachu to a Pikachu? It seems pointless. I suppose it's good to use a name that's easy to understand, but... Pikachu? Really? Really? I guess so. Did you know this? You can have a two-on-two -two battle even if you're not with another trainer. If you catch the eyes of two trainers when you have two or more Pokemon, they'll both challenge you. Don't you think it'd be cool if you could beat two trainers by yourself? Well, actually it is. It's better for experience as well. Pokemon Trainer School. If I go to this school, will I be able to catch rare Pokemon easily? Nope, so you might as well just go hang yourself now. I'll teach you anything about Pokemon. Okay. Hey, who the hell are you? Oh, what's he doing? Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. Ooh, a quick claw, thanks! Now how will these students learn? A Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself. There are many kinds of items a Pokemon can hold. Boy, it sure is hard taking notes down. I'm pretty sure of it. Where is that quick claw? Oh, there it is. A hold item that occasionally allows the first strike. Um, why don't I give this a toast duel for now? I'm training Pokemon with, a, with my friend right now. I always wanted a C dot, and I'm finally getting one. You should be very proud. You know how some Pokemon moves can confuse a Pokemon? A confused Pokemon will sometimes attack itself without meaning to. But once it leaves battle, it will return to normal. I've always hated confusion, and it's pretty easy to see why. And why is that desk held diagonally? Pokemon can hold items, but don't know what to do with man-made items like potion and antidote. Ah, oh, that Johnny Cage guy again. Hello, didn't we meet before? I think back in Petalburg City. Let me introduce myself. My name's Scott. I've been traveling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon battle experts. So, what brings you to this school? Are you a trainer too? The first thing you should do is have a Pokemon learn the move Cut. If I remember correctly, someone in this town has Cut. Really? Then I'll go look there right now. I challenged a gym leader, but it's not going to be easy with him winning with my Fire-type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon don't match up well against Rock-type Pokemon. Nope, they don't. Oh, who might you be? You're a new face around these parts. Have you just transferred into a Pokemon trainer school? No. Ah, this must be the Cutter's house. Because it has a sign that says Cutter's house. That determined expression, that limber way you move. And your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait. Don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm not sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. Ah, sweet! My first HM. That hidden machine, or HM for short, is cut. An HM move is one that can be used by any Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that's learned cuts can chop down thin trees if the trainer has earned the stone badge. And unlike a TM, an HM could be used more than once. Sweet. When they were 
expanding the city of Rustboro, my dad helped out. He made his Pokemon use Cut to clear the land of trees. Hmm, cool. Uh, who should I teach Cut to? Because while I can't use it outside of battle, I can still use it inside of battle. Okay, so only KFC can. Um, let's see. Scratch is like 40 and 100. 50 and 95. I don't really need Scratch. Let's get rid of it. Replace it with Cut. Okay, let me check out the rest of the place. Every Pokemon has a special ability that it can use. Pokemon are such strange creatures. You're strange. Shut up. Don't go saying stuff about my Pokemon. Oh, it's so hard every day. What's hard, you need to ask? I'm trying to figure out what to make meals every day. It really isn't easy coming out with meals every day. Oh, you. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Pepper household. I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? You see, I'm a new father, so raising a child is all new to me. And I have a problem. My daughter, Walda, doesn't laugh enough. I think she'd laugh for me if I told her something funny. Do you know of a funny word or phrase you can tell me? Yep. Oh, that's wonderful. So let's hear it. Your suggestion. Well, I don't remember if there actually is an important phrase. I'll probably get to that later. So, for the hell of it, so let's just say... Go with something like this. Uh, I... Like... Men. Uh, can I get to an exclamation point? There we go. Five exclamation points. You gotta have it like that. Now let's give it a try, shall we? I like men! I like men! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not smiling at all. Maybe Walda is one serious child. Eh, we'll deal with that later. But first, let's keep exploring the rest of Rustboro. I don't think it should be too much to check out. A Pokemon you get in a trade from someone grows fast. But if you don't have certain gym badges, it may not obey you. It's been like that for a while. Have you ever taken the Pokemon Gym Challenge? When you get that shiny gym badge in hand, I guess trainers begin to realize what is required of them. Yep, that, that is true. Wait, there's a house over there. I don't think I saw it yet. Roxanne, the gym leader, really knows a lot about Pokemon. She's really strong, too. The trainer school is excellent. If you study there, you can even become a gym leader. Nah, I already know their stuff. I'm too good for that school. School's not cool, man. Ah, Devon Corporation for all your living needs. We make it all. Okay, that's going to be a big building. I'll check that out in the next part. The Devon Corporation, we all just shorten it to Devon. That company makes all sorts of convenient products. Good. I'm glad it does. Time-saving tunnel nearing com completion. Is that what it says on the sign? But there's also a big X splash across it in red paint. Oh, that's, that's very inconvenient. Oh, there's one more house to look at. Huh? My Pokemon is cute? Sure, I knew that. But if you really want, I'm willing to trade it to you. I'll trade you my seed out for a Ralts if you want. Uh, no. I don't care if it's cute. You're not having it. In all sorts of places, there are all sorts of Pokemon and people. I find that fascinating, so I go to all sorts of places. Huh? That's, that's nice, I guess. You can just roam around and I can hardly care. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here. And next part, I am going to attempt the Rustboro City Gym. Goodbye, everybody.